So we're going to start by taking the palms of your hands together and then placing the knuckles of your thumbs at the center of your breastbone on a point called CV17. It's also referred to as Sea of Tranquility. It's a wonderful point for calming your central nervous system down if you're feeling a little anxious. It's also a wonderful point to balance your emotions with. So just close your eyes with your hands in this position, thumbs on your breastbone, center of your breastbone, and just take a few deep breaths. Take a deep breath in through your nose, and breathe out through your nose. And again, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Be a witness to your breath. Let's take one more breath together. And gently open your eyes. Let's move on to an exercise called Bear Swims in the Ocean. We start by separating the hands and bringing the hands to either side of the chest with the palms facing up. Feel your elbows draw back and your shoulders draw back. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, reach your arms forward with your palms facing up and allow your head to bow slightly forward and feel your shoulder blades move away from your spine. Open the arms out to the sides. Spiral the arms behind you. Take a deep breath. Exhale as you reach your arms forward. Inhale as you open your arms out. Exhale. a wonderful exercise to energize the lungs. The lungs are known as the commanders of chi. It's our lungs that interact with the outside environment. We draw the air from the environment, draw it into the lungs, and we create energy for the body. As your arms open out, feel your shoulders nice and relaxed and allow your hands to be nice and soft. This energizes the front of the lungs as well as the back of the lungs. Let's do one more in this direction. Good, now we'll go in the opposite direction. So we pull the hands and the elbows back, the arms reach back. As the arms go forward, notice that the backs of my arms and my hands are coming uh, close to one another as I drop my head around my upper back. As I pull my arms into me, my palms are facing up, the inside of my forearms are facing the sky. Take a deep breath and exhale. This is also a wonderful exercise to do to move the uh, lymphatic fluid through the body, through the rib cage and through the shoulders. Whenever we do movements with the arms and we move the rib cage and the shoulder girdle, we move and circulate lymphatic fluid, which also benefits our immune system when we get the lymphatic fluid to move pump through the body. Let's do two more. One last one. Good, now draw your arms down and stack your spine. Great. So next we'll do an exercise called turtleneck. 
So bring the soles of your feet together and then place your hands on your feet. And notice that my upper body is leaning forward so that my shoulders are in front of my hips. And then from here, you'll nod your chin to your chest, roll down through your spine. And then you'll lift your head, lift your chin, lift your heart. Take a deep breath, and as you exhale, round down through your spine. Inhale as you lift, and exhale as you roll down. So this is a wonderful exercise to articulate the spine, the joints of the spine, so we move energy through the spine. It's also a great hip opener. along the channel that runs up the back and down the front of the body. So the back of the body is considered to be yang and the front of the body is yin. So we have the sea of yang on the back of the body and the sea of yin running down the front of the body. Take your time. Stretch, warming up the back, opening up the hips. Let's do this one more time. Good. Now from here, you'll just keep your hands on your feet, and I just want you to massage the soles of your feet. So our feet take quite a beating every day as we walk, run, and for some of us maybe even skip from uh, point A to point B. So it's great to just pay some extra special attention to the feet. Good. And then from here, with your thumbs, you're going to start to work the soles of your feet going towards the inner arch and then going towards your ankles. And then allow your thumbs to move behind your ankle um, bones, your, your malleoli. And then you're going to, with your thumbs, massage up the calves more towards the back of your calves. Massaging all the way up towards your, your knee and then going down, massaging along the <clears throat> kidney meridian. Nice massage. And then let's go back up again. Here, with your fingers, I would say like your index fingers and the other fingers, massage the uh, tops of your feet. So basically between your big toe and second toe, just in between those two bones, I believe they're called your metatarsal bones. You're just going to massage here. Yeah, I'm going to the uh, outer edge of your big toe and then working through the tops of your feet along the beginning of your liver meridian. So we're massaging some of the yin meridians of your legs right now and feet. Good. And then from here, you'll continue to massage and then go over to the, again, inner side of your lower leg, and then you're going to massage with your thumbs up along the calf, but slightly in front of where you were before, right? 
massaging along those muscles going up that liver meridian and then going back down good and then again going up along the inside of the legs notice any tender spots yes good the liver stores blood and is responsible for the smooth flow of chi good and then from here, let's go back down to the toes. So your spleen meridian also runs from the foot to the inside of the leg, up the body. And that meridian begins on the inner uh, part of your big toe in the nail bed. So we're just gonna massage there. And then begin to massage along the inside of your foot, along the inner arch. Just give yourself a nice little massage for there. And then as you go up the inside of your calf, find your shin bone, right? So you have your shin bone, and what you do is you want to take your thumbs and your other fingers and just massage really close to the bone. And this meridian line may be tender. So just apply enough pressure that's comfortable for you. Listen to your body. Moving right along that spleen meridian. Good, and then again, going up. Great. Let's pay attention now to the soles of the feet again. So on the bottom of your foot, you have the very first acupressure point of the kidney meridian, kidney one. So kidney one is roughly here, um, right between the ball of the foot and the other part of your foot pad. And with your thumbs, you're just gonna massage this point. This point is also referred to as bubbling springs and it's a great point to calm your central nervous system down. If you're feeling um, like you're struggling with insomnia, this is another point that's great for insomnia. So massage here. Now, let's pay attention to a point on the liver meridian. So the liver meridian starts on your big toe, but on the outside of your big toe. And then it travels between that first bone, your first metatarsal, and then the second. So right in that little ditch between those two bones, let's massage in there. You can massage, I'm massaging with the, my finger pads of my, uh, my fingers. Thumbs are on the inside of my, my foot, my feet. So give a nice little massage into there. So liver three is about where my index finger is. And liver three is called greater rushing as well. This is a great point to use if you're experiencing headaches, um, blurred vision, things like that. If you're feeling really stressed out, this liver point is very good to help you manage stress. Good. And then relax. Relax. 